What's going on guys? I'm Andrew and today we're going to be viewing this 2024 Forest River Chaparral model number 375 BAF. It's got a lot of nice interesting features on the inside as well as the out. If you're new here, I'd welcome you to the channel and let's get started. Guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but when the temperatures in Mississippi start to get into teens, it's just too cold. Nobody wants to do anything when the weather's like this here in the south. But this is a new 2024 Forest River Chaparral, model number 375 BAF. Three total slides on board can comfortably sleep about six, seven, maybe even eight people, depending on, of course, the size of your guest. Let's get you inside. This thing's absolutely beautiful though. It's kind of cozy inside, even though you've crammed two full bedrooms and two full baths inside of a 42 foot fifth wheel. Typically when you do that, you lose and sacrifice a lot of the living room space. But to be honest, this thing kind of resembles a lot like maybe a rear living fifth wheel. Let me show you why and exactly what I mean. So typically on a rear living, you're sitting on the back your sofa in the slide out over here is of course always staring directly at the television which is pretty much the same setup that you're looking at right now so this thing is extremely cozy has a lot of sleeping room aboard but it is a little bit limited though when it comes to your kitchen storage that's going to be your storage space there plus you have some cabinetry space under the island as well as over the sleeper sofa back over here so on board the coach though, you've got electric fireplace, but most of the heat will be coming from the randomly placed floor vents throughout the floor. I do believe you have a 40,000 BTU furnace and that produces right at 5,000 BTUs of heat. Electric, <laughs> did I just say electric sound bar? Of course it's electric. You got a, <laughs> almost did it again. Sound bar plus a nice big 50 inch TV. This does pivot away from the wall. But check out all the different accent lights throughout the RV. Kind of nice, plus the additional touch up on the top. 12 volt compressor fridge. This is right at 18 cubic foot. And speaking of the 12 volt fridge, you also have a 190 watt solar panel found up on the roof that keeps the battery nice and charged, which keeps these appliances nice and cold while you're in transit. This is going to be a pretty much standard size gray stone oven. Maybe enough room for a, a pie, three burners on the top and your regular standard size 30 inch high point microwave. If it's a convection, typically the inside is gonna have like a stainless steel inside and this one still does have the shelf. A lot of people think, well, if there's a shelf, it's gonna be a convection. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Again, your storage, a little bit on the limited side. Got these two cabinets plus these over here and you're also gonna be limited to what's underneath the kitchen island. Solid surface countertops in the kitchen though. That's nice to have. You got the bigger, taller residential faucet with the single basin undermount sink. Thomas Paint collection furniture all the way throughout. That's gonna be a sleeper sofa. I'll try to maybe open that up, giving you guys a better idea on how much sleeping room you'll possibly have. Plus the walk around room. You're not gonna be limited with this one. Theater seats with a flush mounted slide. Slide box height inside of this one here is gonna be right at six feet tall. So if you're sitting over at your tail, you're not gonna have to really be cautious of your head if you go to stand up. All the windows in the side are also breeze windows. And the windows on board the coach are all gonna be trimmed up with these black roller shades here. So my favorite part of the RV is gonna be in the front. So that's where I wanna go first. This is gonna be the kid's bedroom. Stepping upstairs, you got a 78 inch ceiling height, washer and dryer connections if you decided to put it in, but if not, you got the additional mat that you can lay flat for maybe some overflow sleeping. Top bunk lays flat, so you can maybe sleep one, two, possibly three or four, maybe even five guests up here in the front, but check this out. All of your guests are gonna have their own full bathroom, kind of like a miniature little tub, you do got right at a 12 inch step up, uh, step up to get into the tub, but you're right at still 77, 78 inch ceiling height inside of the RV. That's gonna be your bathroom vanity with a porcelain foot flush toilet. Just to give you a better idea on the view, plenty of room. 
but I like the washer and dryer connections being up this way. It kind of keeps the noise out of the master bedroom. And I think honestly, with it being side by side, some people will probably get creative and just get rid of the mat, maybe making this kind of like a universal shelf up here on the top. But what do you guys think of the bedroom actually being up in the gooseneck area? It's kind of cool in my opinion. I think I like it a lot. Also, three 15K air conditioners on board. This is going to be one. However, you cannot run all three at once. Down here, depending on what you're wanting to do, maybe you want all the air conditioning to be in the back or maybe just in here, you can select between zones A and B to select which end of the coach you want to keep cool because again, you cannot run all three at the same time. Let me show you your loft area. So this one, I'm not gonna include this with sleeping because realistically, I don't think it's big enough for honestly any of my children. <laughs> And I don't think that the ladder, being in the position it is, is the most user friendly. Let me get this in place. But this entire ladder will retract, squeeze down like just that big and you can just tuck it up out of the way. But it is right out in the middle of the floor. This is your loft. You're probably right at maybe, of course, 96 inches wide is the RV, but maybe four or five inches deep and at least 20 inches on the ceiling height up here. But at least you have a breeze window up top, right? Let's get the ladder out of the way now. So at nighttime though, if you did happen to have guests sleeping up on the top, just be cautious when you open the door there. Stepping back to the master bedroom. I forgot to put the bed down. Look at all the changing room, plenty of room. You're at least by three and a half feet right here. Let me let this down. This is gonna be a nice size, king size bed. You got USB ports also in the headboard. You can use the window treat but i'm assuming maybe for a shelf maybe to put your cell phone i wouldn't recommend anything too heavy up here additional storage and all the windows again breeze windows on the side of the slide this one's just going to be a picture window so typically when you have a loft getting the airflow from the top down into that lower bedroom is typically a problem or an issue in a lot of the RVs. And I don't think anyone's actually mastered how to get that air from way up here to down here. So, but look what Chaparral has decided to do. They kind of have cut out this entire space, putting that third air conditioner right there. So it would just drop all the air conditioner right here into the bedroom. Kind of is creative how they've done that. It's, I think it's nice. It is different having the space. You know, I'm 6'2". I've got probably four or five inches over my head still. It's plenty of room, works nicely. Lots of storage at the foot of the bed. You would think instantly that this is gonna be for the washer and dryer, but this is like a, like a double closet. You got the hanging rod on both sections. Plenty of pull outs right over here. Plus a really cool little area for maybe some hidden jewelry i've also have sat back here and i've gone over this entire bedroom and searched high and low for tv connections and i cannot find one i i'm starting to think that the manufacturer forgot it you got a gfi outlet plus your usb port and i'm just assuming that right here should be cable connections or maybe down here i thought maybe they were down there but they're not maybe to set a tv but i'm just mind blown i cannot find the TV location at all for the master bedroom. If you happen to know, let me know in the comments down below. So all for all of my taller viewers that typically have a hard time finding that big shower in a bunkhouse fifth wheel because the shower is typically all the way in the front. So if you're over seven foot five, you're not gonna have to worry about having plenty of ceiling height over your head. Portion foot flush toilet. These are gonna be thermofoil countertops. It's like a hard heat of plastic that is just wrapped over that material. This is your storage. And this is the controls for your 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater. So if maybe you enjoy your temperature in your water to be like 110 degrees, just set that temperature there for 110 and then turn only on the hot water there. And this will be your perfect pooping position, I guess you could call it. Really big bathroom. I actually like the bathroom inside of the, the chaparral. 
So let's take a look at the sales price and the MSRP sheet. So again, I really do appreciate you guys for sticking around in the video. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to, keep, to continue to get videos uploaded. I'm still suffering from tinnitus as well as my middle ear infection. But at date and time of making this video, maybe you can pause the video and read everything here. MSRP is $91,922. And of course, our sales price being $67,995. For more additional photos, there is that link found in the video description where you can go back and view all those additional photos. But right now, we're going to step outside, enjoy some of this cold Mississippi weather. The temperatures right now are probably touching the teens. Tonight is supposed to drop down, I do believe, to around 8 degrees. Absolutely beautiful coach, though. It's kind of big on the bigger side. I do recommend, excuse me, at least a one ton or bigger to safely pull it. Single or dual wheel should be fine for this one. It's not too extremely heavy, but just because of its overall length, I'd recommend a one ton. Let's take a look at your pass-through storage. But first, this is your one of the two propane tanks. One propane, one 20-pound tank located on each side of the RV. Your baggage door is only about a half inch thick. This baggage door is rather thick though, right at about an inch with magnetic latches. Nice carpet trimmed out, fully automatic leveling system. And this is a good shot of your floor joist on board the chaparral battery disconnect switch slam latches that's gonna be the exhaust for the furnace and this is a blindside camera prep you got one on each side of the RV plus one more additional one in the back all three slides are gonna be rack and pinion that's nice that's one of the best operating systems that I do believe is in the RV industry right now and this is what I call your water management area your water lines will come up through the floor connecting to either city water connection or maybe your black tank flush. This is for winterizing your RV right here, which by the way, I do recommend doing that right now. It's so cold. Outdoor shower, water pump, and this is all your cable connections there. And my watch is attempting to talk to me. Sewer connections on board the RV, you got two different ones. One back here in the back, plus one in the front. You got multiple pull handles up there plus as well back here look at the frame that is a 12 inch i-beam construction very very beefy goodyear tires plus the upgraded road armor trailer suspension and one thing you could do to add to that is to come up here to your kingpin pretty much a standard rhino box right now but you can simply upgrade this for a much smoother ride. Again, I'll leave the hitch weight about here in the video. Fully molded fiberglass front cap and check out those docking lights on the top as well as the side. This is gonna be that other 20 pound propane bottle and the other side of your pass-through compartment. Black tank flush again on this side. Blind side camera prep. This is the opposite side of the RV. Friction hinge on the door. Those are Lippert steps, four step entry, by the way. Really massive. I hope you can see it. 25 foot awning, huge. And there's a bracket in the center just to hold it in place. It's so big. LED lights underneath the awning as well. Let's come around to the back where you've got a four by four tubular bumper. You got the two inch receiver, power cords on the back, you got your ladder and the blindside camera prep for that third outlet. And notice, there's the sticker. Not for towing, maybe to be used for an additional rack, like a luggage rack or a bike rack on, on the back of the RV. But what do you guys think of the new 2024 Chaparral? It's rather nice. It's got a lot of features, you know, heated holding tanks plus three air conditioners. I would definitely not be worried about the weather if I was staying in this thing tonight. Going down into the single digits here in Mississippi, gonna be a cold one. And on top of that, the middle of the infection doesn't make things any better. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.